Welcome back to the channel and today I'm continuing my quest to visit all the American Express Centurion lounges and today I'm at the Houston Centurion Lounge. That's the George Bush International Airport, IAH um, Centurion Lounge for the first time. Uh, a couple things off the bat of this one, especially comparatively to my last review of the Denver, the brand new Denver Centurion Lounge. This lounge is very small in comparison to that. Um, not that this one was crowded today, which was Super Bowl Sunday, but um, you can definitely see the difference in size. You'll cover ground quickly in this lounge. And this one does have a little relaxation area with some couches back there. But one thing that to note, you won't have any views of the tarmac or planes. Uh, this lounge kind of has almost like a basement feel to it since it's not elevated on the concourse level since you do have to take an elevator down to get to it, um, that does uh, mean you won't have any views. So it kind of has a basement-like feel to it in a way. Um, but here's the dining area. I'll show you quick the drink menu, which not a lot of unique uh, drinks. The Chinese New Year, I've seen that at the JFK Lounge. Plenty the Younger, that might be something unique to hear the blue door that's at all of the centurion lounges that i've seen here's the food selection sorry i couldn't really get too close to it but you've got some salads some veggies there some parfaits some immunity booster shots got some pork some jasmine rice some garlic squash and zucchini mix and tomato bis soup honestly not sure what it was next to the uh squash and zucchini it has some fruits and cookies up above i'll tell you the jasmine rice was really good along with the pork and the squash and zucchini uh mix there the jasmine rice was really flavorful and the pork was uh tender the pulled pork so i'd give it i'll give the food a b plus here um although the selection isn't as large as other uh, centurion lounges but there you have a blue door very strong had some rosé with a strawberry in it. It was good. And one nice thing about the Super Bowl, they had they were bringing around nachos and pizza. So that's a nice little um, gesture to do on Super Bowl Sunday, gesture to make. There's the nachos, which were really good, actually. Got chicken nachos. They give you some jalapeno, some tomato. I guess pico de gallo, sour cream, and guacamole. Excellent bartender, though. He was able to make a caipirinha for me, which is great because I always ask. And this is the first Centurion Lounge, to my knowledge, at least when I asked, that was able to make a caipirinha because they had cachaza. But overall, um, not a bad experience at the Centurion Lounge. It really never is. Um, again, one downside to me is that the size of it, it is much smaller. So I can see it getting very crowded when... Um, more people are able to be let in due to capacity constraints currently and also it has a basement type of feel so you don't get that um, the view that you that you have in a lot of centurion lounges of the planes and natural light so that was my review if you enjoyed it please hit the like button consider subscribing if you like this type of content thank you see you next time